that's a that's a kicker's worst nightmare right there, and, and you feel for him because um, whether you've been there, you've done it, or you felt the same things as him, you never want to see somebody go through that. Um, you know, I, I've heard about all the things that have been said to him, and I can only imagine, and um, I feel for him. But you know, that that comes with the territory. I say it all the time. And, you know, either you're, if you're the hero, and you're playing well, or you're the zero, and you're not playing well. So. Uh, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but you know he's he's a real good kicker, and I know he's gonna you know uh, bounce back from 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 that miss. You've talked about the criticism you've had with that you've had in the past, and I don't know if you heard Mr. Kicker that kind of that magnitude. But do you feel kickers are kind of particularly vulnerable to that kind of criticism more than in other, in other positions, just because of the situation y'all face. Or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you, like you got to really have thick skin when it comes to that kind of stuff, and. You know whether whether you hit a big time kick or you miss a big time kick, you know you gotta you gotta move on to the next one, and um, you know everyone's gonna have their opinions and, about you and, and your play and your style of play, and, um, but you just gotta worry about yourself, and you know and that's what that's what he's he's got to do, and I know he's made some big time kicks in his career as well, um, you know so I mean I I, I feel for him, but um, I know he'll, he'll he'll bounce back. Thank you very much. No problem. Mason, you guys go on the road now to Missouri. It's a place you guys have never played before. Anybody in this team, I guess, has never played before. What is it like when you go to a new place? Are you guys curious about what it's going to be like? Do you guys not worry about it? What, what are your thoughts as you're heading to a new venue you've never seen before? I think there's a little bit of curiosity. I don't think there's there's much. Uh, the curiosity more comes from you know the atmosphere and, and the people and whatnot. But I think uh, for the most part, I mean, we're pretty we're pretty calm about it. We're pretty. Uh, understanding that no matter what environment you go in, no matter how many people are in the stands, it's going to be a um, you know a, a crazy uh, venue and, and passionate, and fans are going to be loud and, and whatnot. So uh, you know we're curious, but you know we're at the same time not worried about all the external factors. What about you? Are, do you have you taken a leadership role in this team? Have you really kind of stepped up and said, guys, I want to kind of lead? Because it, sometimes it's hard for a kicker or punter to get respect. Right. And as a leader, you need respect. Do you kind of take a leadership role? And do you find it difficult to try and take that as, as a kicker? Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not very vocal about stuff. I don't. I feel like my leadership style is in, is more uh, my style of play than it is. Um, me being vocal and, and saying stuff, um, you know, I just, I, I do everything that I can the best way that I can, and I, th I feel like uh, people look at that as a leadership style, um, hopefully that they can follow, um, but like I said, I'm not very vocal about my leadership, I don't really like to get up and, and say much, I just kind of uh, do what I have to and do what I can the best for the team, and hopefully people follow. No problem. Hey, Butch was just bragging now about the increased APR, said you guys posted a perfect 1,000 score for that in the spring. What notice or what changes have you noticed in the emphasis on academics? Um, huge emphasis. Uh, you know, it's always, you know, it's you're here to get your degree, you're a student athlete, you're not an athlete student, you know, and, and school's first and your education's first and Coach Jones always preaches it to us. And so, you know, the, uh, the amount of effort and the amount of time that, that we put into our academics and the Thornton Center and going, I see a lot of guys in the library sometimes and um, even myself, I find myself doing a lot more stuff and making sure that I'm on my game when it comes to school because I'm graduating in December as well. So. Uh, I feel like that's pretty important. You know, everybody wants that, that degree. They want that piece of paper. And, um, you know, Coach Jones preaches that a lot. So I think, um, you know, we're, we're proud of the way that we've handled our, our school situation and the APR stuff. And so hopefully we can just continue to build from that. Have you guys been asked to spend X number of hours a week in the Thornton Center or the library or anything like that? Or? Well, some guys are. Some guys, you know, have to spend a certain amount of hours in, in Thornton and whatnot. Um, you know, they feel like if, you know you need a tutor in a class, and some guys do. Uh, you know, you gotta go to that tutor and um, use that time wisely and make sure that you maintain good grades because if you don't get good grades, you can't play. So it all starts in the classroom, and then Coach Jones always says, if you do the right things off the field, it shows on the field. So the more you continue to do the right things in the classroom and off the field, the more it ties into to what you do on the field. No problem.